Okay, today in this video is what I want to show you is how to back up apps to be able to restore those after maybe you update a ROM or change to some custom ROM or something of that nature. Okay, in a lot of uh, the videos I have, I show you how to put on custom ROMs. And uh, you know, if you, if you do that once, uh, a lot of times you'll get bit by the bug. I got bitten by it a long time ago on my, uh, on my Droid Eris, whenever that was out. And uh, there's no telling how many uh, Android devices I've had since then. And there's certainly no telling how many different ROMs I've flashed onto different Android devices that I've had. So one thing that you uh, need to, to learn how to do if you're going to be doing all that is how to back up apps. Um, you know, especially things like games. You're playing a game and you get, you get to a certain point in the game and you want to save that and you want to to preserve that across the flashing of different ROMs that's what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to back up these apps so that you can restore them and restore them exactly as you left them so like I said games if you're playing a game you can res you can back up this game restore it on a completely different ROM and and have it exactly where you left off or like me I use the brow the the dolphin browser and every time I uh, every time I put on a new ROM, I always go to the store and download the browser, Dolphin browser, and have to resync all my contacts and all the, uh, my my uh, my favorites and uh, my bookmarks and all that. But if I just use my backup on Titanium, that's the program we're going to use today. It, it makes it real quick, where I just back it up and and uh, and get that app real quick like that. Okay, so let me show you what we're going to do here. First of all. <clears throat> the app we're going to be using is Titanium. Okay, Titanium Backup. Right there. The one I have is the free version. You can get the pro version, and I probably should. I will eventually with how, how many times I've used this. Um, but this is the program we're going to be using is Titanium Backup. Okay, so when you open it up, it looks something like this. Now, before we use it, there's a couple things you need to make sure are set first in, in settings. Okay, uh, first thing is, and I'm on Jellybean 4.2.2 here. And so the way you get to these different things may be a little bit different than for me. But me being on Android 4.2.2, here's what I need to do. Okay, I'm going to go into Developer Options and need to make sure that USB debugging is checked okay so it may not be under developer options for you but make sure US debugging is checked another thing that you need to check and for me it's under security is check uh, this unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources so those are going to be the two things that uh, that we need to change in our settings so that titanium will work now another very important thing for titanium to work is you have to have root access okay um, if you're on the galaxy note and you don't have root yet I've got I've got a video showing you how to do that if you're just watching this in general you need to uh, root your device so that titanium will work okay no root this won't work all right now, when you go into Titanium, there's a lot of stuff that I don't know about this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that uh, people could probably show me how to do, but here in this middle tab, you go to Backup or, and Restore. Now, I can back up just individual apps here, okay? Uh, like, let's see here. Okay, GPS speedometer, whatever. I'm just finding something here. So I just click on that app and I'll push back up. And you'll see it says backing up here. And it's going to uh, back that up, that app up for me. Okay? And now I've got a backup. You can see here the latest backup, 523-2013 at 638. That's the one I just did. So um, later, if if I want to restore this GPS speedometer then I can just uh, well it won't show up like that but 
uh, I can later restore it. Okay, so let me show you what's happened here. Um, I've just recently put this uh, this ROM that I'm running on my phone. So there's a lot of apps that I still haven't reinstalled yet. Okay, and so well, let me show you this. Okay, so if you go into your settings here and go to preferences, if you're not able to find uh, where you've stored your titanium um, apps in the back, if you go into preferences and go to backup folder location, and you, if you push this detect, it'll say detect just on the SD card or on the whole device. Just click whole device, and it'll go through here and it'll find the places on your phone where it finds titanium backups. Okay, and so right here, and I've already done this, and so it shows all these backups that I have, and so. Once I do that, I'm just going to click on use uh, the current folder. Now, here's here's what happens after I after I back that up. Scroll down to the bottom here. You'll see going from from YouTube. This is an app that's on my phone right now. So you see that it it shows everything fine there. But down to the next one, you can see how it has a line through it. That means that there's a backup for that app, but it's not installed currently on my phone. Okay, now this is one thing that I definitely was was about to do anyways. Like if I go over here to my, uh, I use this audio manager, and that junk right there, I do not want that. Okay, now Google took off all the ad blocking um, apps that you can get on the Google Play Store. And I know you could probably go find those AP, uh, APKs somewhere else, but over here in Titanium, I've got a backup of Ad Free. Okay, and I'm going to use the one that has the latest backup, 3.13.2013. So I'm going to click on that app, and you can see right there it says Restore. And uh, I'm just going to restore app only here. There's, there's no settings or anything that's saved for that. Okay, so I'm going to install that. And so there you go. This app wasn't on there before. This is my ad free. It's going to kill those ads for me. And that is a restore from an app um, that, that I backed up a long time ago. So there you go. No more ads coming in on this. Well, I got to. Okay, now one other thing I want to show you in Titanium is how to do whoops is how to do a batch backup and batch restore. Okay, so if I go over here to backup and restore, okay, then I click on my menu. It's going to bring me to batch actions. <clears throat> now, it gives you all kinds of options here. If you're doing a backup, all you want to backup really is your user apps, okay? And there's really you don't ever want to backup system data. Um, there's there's probably some situations why you want to backup system data, but if you're going to be backing up system data, you're probably not watching this video, okay? So don't don't backup system data. If you ever want to do just a back batch up, is you're going to click up click on this backup all user apps and click run. And then you can see here it has all my uh, my user apps, the apps that I've downloaded and put on on uh, this phone myself. And so you can see here it's got them all checked. If there's something I, I don't want it to back up for whatever reason, then I'll just uncheck that. And uh, and then that's it. Once once I decide all the ones that I want backed up, then I'll just hit this red check mark, or I'm sorry, this green check mark. And it'll back up all of those those apps for me, and then then I'll have that backup for later. So again, this is something you'd want to do if I'm about to go to some different ROM. I've got this backup so that after I install that new ROM, I can just go download Titanium from the Play Store, 
and then my backups are on my phone, and then I can just start putting those apps back from from my backup through Titanium. Okay. Um, if you want to do a system, do do a batch restore. I mean, you'll probably want to do restore all apps with data. Again, you don't want the system data, so you'd restore all apps with data. You would run that, and you you're going to push a check the check mark here. Now, here's, here's a limitation of the free version. If you have the free version and you do a batch restore, you have to click install and OK on every app that it installs. So you have to sit here and watch it push, click install, wait a little bit, click OK. Click install, push OK, click install, push OK. And you have to go through that through all the apps that you want restored. Whereas if you get the pro version, once you do a batch restore, it just it puts it all back on there and you don't have to go through... Uh, through all of those different uh, different things with, uh, with with the pro version, like I said, there's there's probably a lot more about titanium uh, that I could say. That that's the way I use it, and it's been a very good tool for me. Uh, I hope this video helps and will help you to save you a little bit of time whenever you go to uh, put apps on a new custom ROM or or new update. Thanks for watching.